I have an issue I want to get off my chest quickly. This past Friday, many of you in the Glendale community did a really incredibly piss poor, deplorable, terrible, pitiful job by not addressing me, your colonel, your commander, your great dane, to my liking. You all have my blood boiling because of your lack of hospitality. You got on my nerves because of how apathetic, lazy, blasé, oblivious, dismissive, distant, uninterested, half-hearted, half-assed, lackadaisical, disrespectful, inconsiderate, insensitive, inhospitable, lukewarm, and lethargic you guys were and have been for quite some time. When I say address me, you address me with respect, etiquette, and manners. You address me properly. Do you understand? I pull the rank. I pull the strings. I call the shots. I run things around here. Not you. Not Stephen Amell. Not Shawn Michaels. Not each and every single one of you tuning in, listening, sitting down, and watching. I'm the leader and the ruler of my jury. I had to tell all of you three times to address me as ATG or else I was going to quit and leave the building and the entire Federation. Only after I made the threat did you choose to address me. Do you know why? Because you need me. You see, I had to test the waters and gauge your enthusiasm and energy levels. By golly, I needed to see where your attention span stood. Was your attention split into separate parts? Or did you give me and my jury your undivided attention? I just couldn't stand in the ring and entertain sacks of potatoes and bumps on logs. That was why I stood in that ring just irate and infuriated. Letting Dr. John Cena, PhD, do all the talking. Just remember, every time I tell you in the crowds, in the arenas, and on social media to address me, you better damn well do it. All you can do about it is do nothing and like it. Otherwise, I advise you not to waste my time. The fact of the matter is, you sissies and wussies pay your hard-earned money that you make at your stinking, degrading, horrible, demeaning, demoralizing, non-respectable, not-so-glamorous, low-paying jobs that you detest so much to see me on smack dab shows and on the pay-per-views at arenas and stadiums that I headline, main event, and sell out every single time. Oh, you don't like what I say? Oh. Boo hoo! Boo hoo! Boo hoo! Well, that's too bad. Y'all still tune into my content and interact with me on X, Instagram, and YouTube on a weekly basis. I'm a once in a lifetime attraction. I'm a specimen in a league of my own. Hell, even Dr. John Cena had enough humility to address me as his colonel and his commander, despite me interrupting him twice on the microphone, which doesn't happen to him that very often. I was surprised he adapted at the rate at which he did. Whenever you see it on your timelines, your notifications, your messages, or your alerts that go off on your computers or phones telling you that Dr. John Cena, PhD, the doctor of thugonomics, is going to be in the arena, you should be jumped for joy. When you start to be informed of the fact that my jury and I will make special appearances, you should be cognizant of how I conduct my speeches and declarations. My jury and I take our reputations and presentations very seriously. We don't F around. That's as clear as day. Now, I'll digress. Stephen Amell, Cody Rhodes, Heartbreak Hit Shawn Michaels, and Seth Freakin' Rollins, I'll be awaiting a response from you regarding an eight-man tag team match against me, the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns, the Doctor of Thugonomics, Dr. John Cena, PhD, and the most electrifying man 
in all of entertainment, The Rock, taking place on WrestleMania Deliverance Edition Philadelphia Night 1. We won't rest until you say the only word we want to hear, a three-letter word, which is yes. So with that being said, you goofy-ass cosplaying dorks, playtime's over. If you want some of me and my jury, come get some.